Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So I'm just shuffling up right now, getting ready to do a Gemini season collective spread for us. Um, it's funny. It's, it's Gemini energy that I'm feeling, um, but I'm actually really tapping into this um, Sagittarius super moon, this uh, moon eclipse that's occurring in Sagittarius and Sagittarius is very much this free spirited energy, which is going to be a shift for this collective because of the level of consciousness that we've come to. There is this overthinking energy that the divine wants to get us out of in order to get us to be free flowing, which this free flowing, free spirited energy is going to create a shift externally to us. So there's an internal shift that needs to occur where you're allowing your intuition to draw you to what lessons you need to learn, what experiences need to be had, where you'll be able to best manifest, okay? Um, and this is what I mean about coming out of this overthinking energy, being overly cautious, right? That's why I think we were getting a lot of these downloads surrounding the karmic cycle and really just accepting it for what it is and trusting that your in, your internal mechanism, your intuition drew you to the experiences you needed to have. So coming out of this fearful energy, it's very much the fool energy as well. So there's a lot of new beginnings that are going to occur in Gemini season because of this shift that has occurred within you collective. Okay, so this is now trusting that your intuition is going to draw you to where you need to go. So that's that free spirited energy. I feel I want to go. Think of the Knight of Wands. We give the Knight of Wands a bad rap, but the fact of the matter is, is the Knight of Wands follows the internal fire without any strategy, without any thought, without any second guessing, right? So it's really just letting yourself move where you want to go, be drawn to what it is you're drawn to, say what it is that you want to communicate freely without overthinking about how it's going to turn out. Trusting that if you allow yourself to live freely, what needs to turn out will turn out. What needs to come of it will. And that your free-flowing energy, free-spirited energy is going to put you in alignment. Do you get what I mean? So it's like, and it's going to be tough because some of you guys are more opposed to it than others. Some of you guys are more cautious, overly cautious. Think Nine of Pentacles. It's now the Knight of Wands. Think Knight of Pentacles, but now Knight of Wands. The divine wants us to be free. And I'm really tapping into that for the collective. There's the Queen of Wands. There's that fire, free-flowing, confident energy. Confident that your intuition leads you to where you need to go. And that you're not going to beat yourself up about mistakes and I shouldn't have done that. That only occurs when you don't understand what your intuition drew you to, which was a karmic lesson. And that karmic lesson is a reflection of a life lesson that you incarnated here to get. So I hope that makes sense. Anyways, um, the Gemini energy that I'm tapping into really actually has to do with this polarity so this could be a very um, emotionally, mm, this could be a very bipolar time. So collective, you might feel like you are happy one minute and then not the next. You might feel like you want to do something and then the next minute you don't. Allow yourself to explore the polarities because you'll come to a middle point and it will be clear why you're drawn to something and how drawn you are to it. And then make a decision about how you want to proceed from that middle point. Because I feel like you guys are going to one polarity to the other and that's what the faces, the, the double, the two faces of Gemini are representing the twin energy. So I'm also getting this twin energy is going to be reflected externally to you where you're going to be heavily triggered by somebody who is reflecting you in a very similar way. So you're irritated by somebody's actions and they feel the same way about you. You're giving them an impression and they're giving you the same impression, but you're irritated by what kind of impression they're giving you. Well, so are they about you. Um, you're hesitant. So are they. Um, and then you're having to deal with that energy right? So how you're going to treat somebody is essentially how you want to be treated because they're reflecting you, if that makes any sense. 
Um, I'm also getting that this uh, Gemini energy also has to do with seeing the other side to something or showing somebody your other side, um, which I usually get with Gemini energy, seeing a side to somebody that you haven't been exposed to before or exposing somebody to a side of you that you haven't exposed to anybody or this particular person. Okay. Um, I'm also getting this um, compatibility. I'm getting a compatibility energy. Um, but anyways, let's get into um, the spread. Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angels, thank you for rising me up out of my bed this morning and thank you for connecting me with the collective every day. Right now, please allow me to communicate clearly with the collective, all the messages that are in our greatest good surrounding our material abundance, sustenance, the relationships closest to us, our personal ascension and development and any other messages that you deem worthy at this time. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angels, for everything you do for me and the collective on a regular. All the healing energy, the support, the love, the guidance, and the protection. We are nothing without it, and we are nothing without you. So glory be to the Most High forever and ever. Amen. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Gemini season is going... It, it, there's a there's a massive shift. So we've been experiencing these smaller shifts in preparations for a bigger one, and I'm seeing the bigger shift here. The Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, and the Tower. All these smaller shifts were in preparation. All these smaller shifts were in preparation for a big shift shift judgment and the tower that also to me is the collective being afraid not trusting their decision making skills being afraid of being exposed to more karma and the fact of the matter is is you are we are karmic beings we are here to learn karmic lessons life lessons that better get us to understand the universe and our creator and why we're here why the world is here There's fear because then I've got the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Star in reverse, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys might hear something that you don't want to hear and it actually create a shift in you. So some of you guys were hoping for something with the Star card. You were wishing and hoping for something and it doesn't turn out. It doesn't work in your favor. It doesn't, you might express yourself to somebody and they don't receive you or they might express themselves to you and it's not in alignment with maybe how you feel about them or how you feel about the situation. The point of the matter is, is that it something doesn't work out in your favor, but that doesn't work out to allow for this, whatever this is. That's what I mean about this free flowing energy. If you get stuck on something not working out for you, you're not going to let your energy flow. You're going to shut down. You're going to close off. And we did so much work about being in a position to receive and be open and receptive and all this shit. So don't let anything close you off because whatever isn't working in your favor is to allow for something to come in. Some of you are going to be challenged to really accept somebody's perception on a situation respect somebody's feelings, respect somebody's ideas, even if you don't agree. You're going to be challenged to do that. Just surrender. Just, just accept. There's a lot about this free-spirited energy that you need to have, but that you also need to have towards other people. People are free to do and say what they want. What they do and say is a reflection of them, and I'm not going to try to gain control or try to control somebody or dominate them into agreeing with me, seeing something my way, so it's really coming out of that energy. Okay, so let's, I want to clarify these. I think I'm going to just keep these six cards and we'll pull another deck. This is a Gemini season reading. Page of Swords, I feel, is Gemini energy. The page is Gemini. Aquarius is the king. No, Aquarius is the queen.
Anyways, the Page of Swords. This is why I feel like the divine is telling us we need to have free-flowing energy. Because we're stuck between what's the truth, what's the truth. And this is going within. You see how her eyes are closed? She's within. So this, this is needing to accept both. This is the polarities collective. Gemini season is going to get you to accept the truth about the polarity of who you are. The highest vibrational part of you and the lowest vibrational part of you are both true. They both exist. They both can't be denied. That's how you get to a middle point and it creates a massive shift. It's, it could have taken you fucking lifetimes to get to this point collective where you accept the polarities of yourself and you find yourself in the balance in full acceptance of who you are, which then externally is going to get you in full acceptance of a situation of other people. It's going to feel like a weight is lifted off of your shoulder instead of telling yourself there's something I need to do to change what the truth is or how things are or how things played out instead of just accepting them for what they are and understanding some of you are going to come to an understanding of why you were involved in certain things or with certain people. You're going to understand why you were drawn to certain people. I'm also getting with this Gemini energy that you might see um, a manifestation play out in two different opportunities or with two different people. So you want something career-wise and you have two job opportunities and that manifestation is split between two opportunities. Or you are manifesting a partner and you see the characteristics that you want in two different people. I think it's a reflection of how there's a part of you that isn't in union. That needs to come in union so that that union energy is reflected externally to you. So that one job opportunity offers you all of it. One romantic partner offers you all of it. One friend group is a reflection of you, not three different friend groups. Not to say there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that it just feels like there's this coming together energy. Anyways, let's um, let's pull the Lenormand and do some clarifying here. Okay, I want to clarify the Wheel of Fortune and it's these three cards in reverse and these are, there's a mirroring. This is what I'm saying. So to the cards on the bottom, the cards in the top row look like they're in reverse and vice versa. The cards on the top look like these are upright, but they're in reverse. There's something about a perspective here. But anyways, let's see the Wheel of Fortune for Gemini season. The Wheel of Fortune upright and the Ace of Cups in reverse. What's this about? A crossroads, the Queen of Pentacles. I think collective, you choose yourself. Some of you were had a split decision. You weren't sure what you were going to choose and you choose yourself. Some of you guys are given opportunity and you decline all of them because they're not a reflection of what you want and you're not going to sacrifice. It's like if you picked one person or one opportunity, you'd be sacrificing something. Or if you picked that, you'd be sacrificing something and you guys are going to decide to decline all of it because you don't want to sacrifice what it is you truly want and where you're trying to go. So you're going to say no to something, which creates a shift. Let's see what else. The five of pentacles. I didn't set intention. This is that, that energy though, this five of pentacles is, is not, something isn't going to work out in your favor. And this isn't, this is understanding that that is a blessing. It's a blessing. But I think you feel hurt about it and you feel left out in the cold. Some of you guys are going to um, take back your cup of love. You were interested in something or someone and you're going to change your mind. You're going to tell somebody, no, I'm not actually really into it. Or somebody could do this to you. Or you might have applied for a job, interviewed, and you might get the job and actually decline it. Um, you could have been offered an opportunity in work to do something different, to travel, to take on more responsibility. Some of you guys said, yes, you're going to change your mind and say no. Um, some of you guys ask for vacation time and it's approved. And then I feel like your employer might try to change their mind and be like, you can't actually go because of something that's occurring in the workplace. And I think you're going to be very upset about that. 
um, it's going to create a shift, a shift, three of pentacles, a shift. You're intrigued. I want to clarify. Can we clarify judgment upright and the star in reverse? Set intentions collective for what you really want. I keep feeling that in this reading. Then we've got the... Um, some of you guys are going to get an out. You didn't know how to get out of a difficult situation. It was a karmic cycle. You didn't know how to get out, but you set clear intentions to the divine that you didn't want to be a part of this or you didn't want to be with this person or you don't want to do this anymore. And you surrendered the fact that you didn't know how to get out of it. You just acknowledged between you and the universe that you didn't want to be here anymore instead of saying to yourself, I don't know how to get out, so I'm going to just find a way to surrender. I'm going to find a way to um, settle and, 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 and make this work. You didn't do that. You came out of that energy and the divine creates a shift with the tower. The divine judgment creates a shift tower and the wheel turns and you get your mana, you get your out all because you simply acknowledge that this isn't wish fulfillment and I don't want to move forward anymore with this person, with this opportunity with this idea. It's not going to work. Then we've got the nine of wands, sheer determination, not giving up. A lot of you guys didn't give, you were challenged to give up on a dream, something you were really hopeful for and you don't give up. Ten of wands. Oh, this is about that, dropping a burden. Okay, you were really determined. You didn't know how. And the and you just surrendered. You just acknowledged that you were burdened and that you just didn't want to be a part of something anymore. And, the, and you really just acknowledged it and told yourself the truth and didn't focus on how do I get out. The universe gives you an out. Ten of Wands. Can I get more clarification on judgment and the star? Why is the star in reverse? Seven of swords. Wow. It wasn't what it was. It wasn't what it it, it seemed. Some of you guys are going to realize that it, you were attracted to something because you had a preconceived notion of who this person was, how something played out, how something was. When you find out the truth now, you don't want anything to do with this or this person or this organization, or this idea, or this plan, or this project. You don't want any parts, because you find out it's not what it claimed to be. Can I get a clarification on the Tower and the Eight of Wands, please? Then we've got the Knight of Cups. And then we've got the Eight. Wow. Collective, you're going to walk away from something and you walking away from this because you acknowledge what you truly want and that this, whatever this is, no matter how drawn you are to it, it's not what you want. You walk away from something collective to go towards the nine of cups, having faith that there is better out there because the eight plus this night is the nine and then it shows up. You walk away. You walk away and walk towards, you walk away from whatever this burden is and you walk right towards the nine of cups. Why is the eight of wands in reverse though? The, the lack of confidence or interference. Then we've got the seven of wands, which is people, talk, somebody talking to other people about you, which, oh, wow. So I asked, what's the Eight of Wands in reverse? And I literally got the Eight of Wands. Remember I told you how the divine will break down messages for me? So they gave me the message I couldn't understand. So they break it down for me to better understand. And I still don't get it. But okay, I get what I'm gathering is that you haven't found out about something yet. There is talks, there's discussions, there's something playing out beneath the surface 
that you are going to find out that you haven't yet. And the reason why you haven't found out yet is because this is you're protected. There's a reason why the divine is not exposing you to whatever this discussion is behind your back. You don't know these people are talking about you. You don't know these people are plotting on you. You don't know somebody is protecting you or defending you. Regardless of what it is, you don't know. With the eight of wands in reverse, you don't know. And that, and with the tower, you're going to find out though. And then we've got the five of swords and the two of cups. Some of you guys might feel betrayed by your partner, by a love interest, how they spoke about you. Um, somebody could be trying to sabotage a connection by um, speaking negatively about you to somebody who likes you. Um, this could be uh, your partner sharing details about your trials and tribulations in a relationship, in your relationship with them to somebody that isn't a mutual friend. Like you don't feel comfortable with who your partner is talking about your problems with. Like, why are you talking to this person about what we're going through? You don't like it. You don't want your partner getting other people involved. Some of you might actually find out something about your partner from somebody else. Like they saw them doing this or they saw them doing that or heard them say something. I'm not sure. Then we've got the Eight of Pentacles. It speaks about what matters. You're gonna, you're really going to hone into what truly matters for you collective with regards to relationships, with regards to your career endeavors, eight of pentacles, with what you truly want. Like there's your 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 Taurus season really supported the collective into really honing in on that. Like what you really care about. The Sagittarius energy is also the seer. So that's the energy of the healer in you. Some of you guys are going to feel really drawn to heal certain parts of yourself and or you've already healed yourself and now want to take those skills and everything you learned in your self-healing and apply it to other people. It could be in a career sense. It could be with just a particular person that you know isn't well or going through something at this time. The seer energy. It's also um, really high intuition and psychic abilities. Six of Cups, that was a lot. I got the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Okay, what else for Gemini season? What else for Gemini season? Jack, action. That's what I mean. Some of you guys, that's that free-flowing energy. Your free spirit is going to get you to take action to do something that people wouldn't typically think you would do. Um, maybe would have doubted that you were ready to do or open to do. Um, some of you guys are going to are going to drop a burden by telling somebody that you don't believe them and you never did. Some of you are going to drop a burden by letting somebody know that you know the truth about what they did or what they said and that you're no fool. Somebody's going to drop a burden to you and let you know some things that they think you should know because it's not fair that you don't. Some of you guys are going to drop a burden by cheating yourself out of, this is lying to yourself, telling yourself you're happy somewhere you're not. This is lying to yourself, telling yourself you're compatible with somebody when you're not. This is lying to yourself, telling yourself that this is a good enough opportunity for you when it's not. So you're going to drop the burden and admit this to yourself. Three of Swords, there's Heartbreak plus the Seven. That's the Ten of Swords. That's the end of the karmic cycle. This is massive. This is massive. All these little shifts have been leading up to this larger shift that looks like is occurring in Gemini season. Time is an illusion, but this whole reading, the intention was for Gemini season. So that's pretty intense. Um, Let's a romance oracle. I'm going to share this with everybody. I'm going to share it with everybody. I know my lilies are dead. They were they were in bloom for the longest time. I had that plant since, um, and they were just, they weren't in bloom. Only like one was in bloom when I got it. And um, I had that since since Aquarius season. And I remember that because you guys were telling me that the those those lilies are a reflection of Aquarius energy. And I, um, they were just kicking for a long time. I've got a new plant, but it's outside in the sun. It needs sun. 
But anyways, let's see what else. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, and guardian angels. Can we please clarify Gemini season, this reading for Gemini, Gemini season further? True love. Let's see what this true love energy is about. I think some of you guys are going to realize somebody isn't your true love. And I know that sounds fucked up, but it's because the, the um, Ace of Cups is in reverse and the star is in reverse. It's not what you were hoping for. Um, let me just clarify this star and this, this in reverse. What's this about? Worth waiting for. That's what I mean. You were hoping that you had arrived to a manifestation and it's not. But this realization actually is what ends a karmic cycle and allows for your manifestation to come in. I know you guys don't want to hear that. I know you don't. But that's what this is about. You realizing something isn't for you and that it's worth waiting for what is. And then the tower comes in and brings that in. I can feel it in you guys. Just chill. Let your friends help, trust, and release your expectations. Time has come to clear your energy. Yeah, I think some of you guys are going to um, release yourself from something you were hoping was going to work out or release yourself from an idea that a particular person, opportunity, um, path was going to yield something for you. You release it because you see all the signs and you accept that that's not the case. Playfulness, love yourself first, and honeymoon. I see you guys, this free spiriting, free spirited energy. This is you loving yourself first and being playful and not letting anybody else determine this playful energy for you. So you have to be around your friends or you have to be, you know, somebody else has to be in a good mood in order for you to feel good and have a good time. You are the good mood. You are the good time. A lot of you guys are going to be quite free spirited in what you guys decide to do with this playful energy. It's very spontaneous energy. It's very... Um, I just, I, now I'm starting to laugh because I'm just seeing you guys be like, well, what I'm going to do? And it's like, well, I'll figure it out. Let's go. Like, it's very like Knight of Wands energy. It's nice, but the positive Knight of Wands energy. Let's see what else. Getting to know each other. Yeah, I think you guys get to know somebody and realize it's not really a fit. Um, your friends actually might be wanting you to get to know somebody else. You guys could be introduced to somebody um, and not really sure if you're ready because you just released somebody or came out of a, a long-term relationship. Um, give your relationship a chance and reconciliation. Some of you guys could be getting to know somebody that you used to date or that you were getting to know at a point of time and then stopped for some reason and then are reconciling and deciding to get to know each other now. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life and the ascension of it. What's this codependency about? Some of you guys, the problem is, is you're manifesting a partner because you want them to still fill some kind of void or to validate for you a truth about yourself, that you're good enough, that you're beautiful enough, that you're worth something. This is not why we manifest partners. We manifest partners when we love ourselves, at least true love. We manifest that when we love our, and validate ourselves. Some of you guys aren't manifesting the love you seek because of the, the energy you're in. You expect them to do something and it's fill some kind of void. Um, some of you guys actually might end up discussing about a move. Something occurs between you and your partner and you decide that you need to move, but you might not tell other people. You create this shift internally between the dynamic of you and your relationship and then you make this decision and tell people about it after you've already maybe got a lease, maybe booked the flight. It's it's you're, you're you're out of there, and there's not anything much anybody could say. These are social surface relationships, not allowing the opinions of others to deter you from what it is you know you need to do at this time. Okay, and then um, we might do another Taurus one. I mean another um, Gemini reading. In June, June is a tough month for me. Um, I struggle a bit in June because of certain things that I've gone through in my life that occurred in June.
Just relax. See what else? I guess that's the card number twelve, which is a three. Happiness and harmony. Another of the seventy-two letter angels, Mahasaya, encourages you to find what is most harmonious to you. When this card comes up in a reading, you must turn to what delights you most and look after your own interests above others. For this time the card also advises that you should stay close to what you know and not try anything new letting go of sorrow happiness is something that requires recognition um this that energy about it's not a time to try something new i'm not really getting that um I, I'm more getting that, you see all the books here? This is the divine telling you, you've done enough research, you've done enough studying, you are equipped to be able to let your soul be free and to, I, I, I'm getting the impression that you are going to, and I can't say that because the cards aren't really reflecting that. The moon, oh, there is, something hasn't been exposed, something hasn't been revealed. And then the fool, this is what I mean, this new journey and the nine of cups. This is a leap of faith. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm tapping into. Letting your free spirit lead you, trusting that your spirit, when you let it be free, regardless of what you've been through, will lead you to happiness. It led you to your karmic cycle. It led you to all your lessons. It's led you to everything you've been able to heal, heal, transmute, build, grow, develop. Like, it's really, you're really going to be encouraged to trust yourself. Some of you guys don't trust yourself. <laughs> wow, I cut the deck and we got 13, 12, 13 which is a seven, a seven year cycle. I've been getting a lot about these seven year cycles. So, so ready. Anybody you think about it? Okay. This angel, as is clear from the card image, protects us in travel, new ventures, and when leaving one situation for another, this is the energy that I'm feeling. Um, such as a new job, relationship, or home, this card suggests it is it is a safe and beneficial time to travel. Yeah, some of you guys are moving, going on travel, or are um, some kind of travel plan is canceled and it really bothers you. It really gets you to feel a way. And instead of just feeling like an opportunity was taken from you, you just go somewhere else. You travel somewhere else. You have the money. You have the time off. So you're just, and that's what the divine is planning. They want you to go to where you are going to end up going now that you can't go here. I do see a lot of travel for the collective to make a change or even just to change the way you think. All these changes in your life are being blessed at this time. Challenge, make the journey. Make the journey. Fool energy. Lessons, accepting that all the changes in your life have led to the next one. Okay, thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors and guardian angels. That, that is the energies I got for this spread, okay? Anyways, guys, that is the um, our first look at Gemini season and um, what's to come and what's to play out. I definitely think we'll break this. I mean, we're going to be breaking this energy out throughout the month anyway, but I definitely wanted to set intentions. I like doing these... Um, 
these uh, horoscope signs, but for the collective, for that zodiac energy. So whatever season we're in, I like doing a collective reading for that season instead of doing all the zodiac signs each season. Um, so that, that was fun, okay? Um, and I think Gemini season will be fun. I do. I think it'll be a bit intense. Um, I don't think it will be fun if you mind fuck yourself and have all these expect expectations about how things are supposed to play out for you. I think if you go with the flow and you let your spirit be free in its need to experience and expand, then you'll have a great time. Um, but if you suppress yourself and, like I said, mind fuck yourself, it probably won't be a good time. Um, but who knows? It's probably will be a little bit of both for everybody. Okay. I love you guys. And, um, let me know what you guys are feeling coming into Gemini season. I'd be interested to see what you guys have been downloading because you guys are all high priests and high priestesses. Yeah, I got me. So I'm sure you guys have a bunch of downloads yourself. Um, but anyways, until the next time I see you beautiful people, keep letting your inner angels mwah, live. Cheers to the twins. <laughs>